Yo, what's going on guys? So, it's your boy Nick Justice at you with another video. No, I shouldn't say another video because I'm not consistent with videos, which is completely my fault. I, for I, I forgot even what was the last video that y'all saw of me on the channel. But uh, anyway, I'm going to Animal House. Gonna hit a back, back workout uh, with my boy Zach. He's my training partner. Today's gonna be more of our lat focused day to really focus on a little bit of our lower lats, lat thickness, and then one upper back movement though to, um, the beginning, um, one upper back like thickness movement, which is how I like to do both of my back days per week. Maybe do a little posing at the end, but I'm not sure because I got a uh, cheat meal tonight. Go and get sushi. Well, it's actually not even a cheat meal. It's literally just a refeed meal. I'm really excited for that. I'm not in prep right now, but we're doing a scheduled refeeds twice a week right now um, where carbs are at like 690, I think. And then fat is bumped up to like 85, I believe as well. Just to get a little bit of those uh, dirty cows in there, you know, um, food, you'll be proud. But anyway, really excited for my refeeds two a week now. My pre-workout is going to be beta alanine and creatine. I always do five grams in the morning with my silo nine and then five grams pre-workout. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a scoop of CDX right when I start working out. And then the new peach burst flavor is so good. Y'all, if you have not gotten this flavor, you're sleeping on it. You're an idiot. You should get it. That is about the size of scoop you should be getting right there. Just a big old boy. God, you guys, this, this smells so damn good. Um, and I usually don't like peach flavored things. I'm very picky when it comes to like peach flavored um, anything. The only peach flavor I like is like the peach, um, it's like peachy keen monster energy drink and then our sour peach and then this peach burst flavor. That's pretty much it. But I'm like picky when it comes to like artificial flavors for peach and this shit is amazing. Um, and my girlfriend, so. But anyway, I'm gonna get this down, make it to the gym, daily greens when I get to the gym, me and my boy Zach, and then start hitting the back workout and I'm gonna let y'all know how we're, what we're doing it, why we're doing it, and uh, try to do some talking through it because the music isn't too loud at this gym. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to uh, start filming more because I have an editor now. Shout out my boy Jace, who's gonna be editing this, but uh, damn, I'm dark as hell right here. Shit, but yo, I'll see y'all at the gym. All right, Nick, what we got today? Are you gonna shake mine up too? What? You're gonna shake mine up too? <laughs> no, I'm not, but I'm gonna be a good friend. Thank you. Yo, where are you going with the workout right now? Gotta make sure it's up. Yeah, yeah. Not good enough. Do it again. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo, so right now, Zach and I are doing actually rear delts after calves before we hit any back. Just small muscle group, we both need to bring it up. Um, having bigger rear delts can make the world of a difference and just like that 3D effect. Um, but also, too, you know, before we hit back, this also allows us to warm up our rotator cuffs. Um, so, overall, it's just kind of like a warm up movement, but we're still putting energy into two or three working sets um, before we even touch back. Y'all see how Zach's shoulders are protracted? It means they're kind of coming forward from the pad. That's good, because now the start of that mo movement is not his scapula, it's gonna be his rear delt. So that's kind of just a something you can think about when you're hitting rear delts, if it might help you. It's just like, kind of lean back a little bit, push your chest into the pad, have your shoulders roll over just a little bit so you open up your scap, and now it's all rear delt. All right, so right now, we're just starting off. The two work two uh, feeder sets. Um, probably can play and do uh, probably 25, and then maybe do 25 at a time for our second feeder. Um, just feeling it right now, just touching it. Focusing on keeping. For me, if I go out like this and my grip is wide, if I move this all the way out here, I really lose connection with my back. Um, it feels it doesn't feel right with a full upper back uh, uh, contraction. So when I move it in, I'm too nice on each side and we keep hand placement neutral. It makes a world of a difference for how I feel like my scapula contracting. 
Um, so it might help you guys if you have longer arms. Something small like that can make a huge, make a world of a difference. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that was my second working set. I did a one working set with uh, just two quarters on it. And then um, a work, that was a little bit, I think it was like 15 plus reps, and then another set um, with uh, a quarter, two quarters of the 10. That was my heavy set. Now we're doing a back down set. Zach just got done doing his back down set, so I'm about to do mine. And our back downs, we're gonna really, I mean, we're still focusing on tempo um, on every rep. We're still focusing on keeping that, that, that contraction tight, keeping um, execution and form good. But then our back down sets are a little lighter weight. We still have the same exact execution, the same exact control, but just holding our negatives a little bit longer, holding that contraction, that squeeze for just like one second longer, and then just really forcing blood in the area, swelling it up um, before we move on to lats. So two working sets and a back down. Okay, yo, so first um, working exercise for lats was the single arm pull down, pull down like you just saw me doing for my working set. We're doing two working sets, and then on our last working set, we're doing a uh, back off set, stripping a plate, um, and just cranking them out, having a really still controlled and slow tempo. Um, not too slow though, but still, um, just really, again, trying to push blood back into our lats after our two heavy sets. Nothing like, I mean, it's just bro science. It's just like those grips, it's angles, 90s grips. You guys have to get them, they're so good. They make the world of a difference. And just like the smallest hand placement change can be can make a huge difference um, in how you feel and exercise for biasing the muscle a certain way. Um, so definitely pick up some of these, you guys. Like these are, these are, these are really fucking good. Um, so this is what I've been using pretty much on all back exercises where it's pulled down movements. Because um, it's kind of hard to use them unless it's a horizontal row. I mean, yeah, honestly, like, they're actually pretty good for horizontal row. They're really good for with single arm cable rows. They really target your lower lat with single arm cable. But uh, really, I've been testing them out, using them for the past couple weeks, and they're making a huge difference in how I feel my lats. Because that's one of my things that I struggle with for my muscle connection. So getting the whole crew on these. Good, that a boy. Come on. Oh yeah, second working exercise for lats is gonna be the um, hamstring chest supported row. But we're not sitting down, we're bracing ourselves to the working side with our working side foot. This is one of my favorite exercises, honestly, because it really, like biomechanically and like my structure, it just locks me in. Um, and I feel it more so on my lat on this than like a low cable row. I don't know, some people are like swap, but this is, I'm feeling this really good and I don't usually do this one. Come on, Victor. Let's go, bud. Come on. Stretch. 
Right now, finishing up, do some pullovers, roll pullovers. Um, nothing crazy. We were gonna do the hammer strength machine, but it doesn't really feel that good. Like sometimes I get in there and it feels like I can really feel it, feel it in my lats, but sometimes not so much. Same thing as Zach, so we're gonna do rope pullovers instead. Victor's on it right now. But anyway, we're trying to keep a neutral grip, or neutral back, sorry, keeping it straight. Um, not really trying to arch a hold more, a lot, because the contraction is in our lower lat. We're not trying to pinch like our upper back that much, but any tips for the viewers? We're working more on lower. Lower lat, yeah. Just because we taxed ourselves like throughout the heavy rows. For sure, dude, so, definitely. We're just trying to finish it off with these yeah. Just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Good. Watch. All right, so that was the back workout with Zach and I that we, we threw in a couple new movements there. I mean, the single arm lat pull downs on that hammer strength plate loaded machine. We've always done that one, but we use those angle 90 grips and those make the world of a difference. If you just pronate just a little bit on some of these movements or just supinate just a little bit more, it makes a world of a difference, which is really cool. And it's been really, really, really helping out my back workouts. But yeah, today was more of a, uh, a lat focused day. We started off with calves and weird delts because literally <laughs> right after we got done chilling in the car, you know, the, the pre-workout ritual, we go inside and we were talking to my buddy uh, Victor, I mean, he showed up right when we showed up and he was the one hitting uh, back with us at the end there and uh, he's like, yeah, I got, we're talking about calves and how we have such small calves, we're like, fuck, we might as well just hit calves before this workout, so we literally hit calves before this workout, we've been trying to do them twice a week so, some weeks we kind of, we get it but some weeks we don't, I've actually seen a little bit of growth, I'm not even trying to like talk myself up with my calves so I'm, I've actually been excited lately that uh, my calves are growing, finally, I broke both my ankles, was in boots with both ankles back in high school, for like a year after that I didn't train legs, my calves got so small, but anyway I'm going to wrap it up, this video here it is um, going to be a cheat meal for me tonight. It's not even like a cheat meal. It's just some good-ass sushi. So I'm really excited for that. I'm going to have like six rolls. Nathan Epler and I, in, uh, when I was in Indianapolis, that night we hit legs together. We both had like six rolls of sushi, five rolls maybe. It was insane. It was such a good night. Shout out Nathan Epler for showing me the best damn sushi I've ever had. But yeah, you guys, hope like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, make sure that you comment on this video what y'all want to see next from me. I have an editor now, so it's going to be so much easier to get out more content to you guys. Just give more value. Uh, Follow me on Instagram right here uh, at underscore Nick Justice, TikTok at Nick Justice. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next videos and uh, I'll see y'all at the Olympia. Yeah. So, all right, peace.